I've got to tell you that from where I stand now, uh, here in Blythe, uh, it's, looking, it's looking, you know, very, very likely that we'll have to go for a solution that I think would be, you know, wonderful for the UK. We'd be able to do exactly what we want from, uh, from January the 1st. It obviously would be uh, different from what we'd set out to achieve, but I've no doubt that this country can get ready. Donc, euh, je ne demande pas le beurre et l'argent du beurre, non. Mais je demande euh, le beurre bien pesé. Parce que je n'en donne pas ma part non plus. On fisheries, here also, we continue to have a gap. We have not yet found the solutions to bridge our differences. We understand that the UK aspires to control its waters. The UK must, on the other hand, understand the legitimate expectations of EU fishing fleets built on decades and sometimes centuries of access. Well, we're always hopeful and, uh, as you know, the negotiations are continuing. Uh, we've got our, our teams uh, still out there in Brussels. And, uh, you know, if there's, if there's uh, a, a, a big offer, a, a big change in what they're saying, then I, I must say that I've yet to, to see it. Unfortunately, at the moment, as, as you know, there are two key things where we, we just can't seem to, uh, to make progress. And that's the it's kind of ratchet clause they've got in to keep the UK uh, locked in uh, to whatever they want to, to do in terms of legislation, which obviously doesn't work. And then there's the, the whole issue of fish, where you know, we've got to be able to take back control of our, of our waters. So uh, there's a way to go. Uh, we're hopeful that progress uh, can be made. Moi, je respecte toutes les parties prenantes et je souhaite que chacun puisse sortir avec l'accord qui, d'une part, préserve l'intérêt européen, car je rappelle que les Européens n'ont pas choisi le Brexit, et qui respecte nos amis britanniques, et qui permettent, parce que la géographie est têtue, et on va quand même continuer de vivre côte à côte même après le Brexit, et donc qui va nous permettre de vivre de la manière la plus harmonieuse côte à côte. On these and other points, our negotiators are working. We will decide on Sunday whether we have the conditions for a, an agreement or not. In the meantime, the Commission has proposed four targeted contingency measures today. They provide a short-term fix to ensure basic connectivity in air and road transport for six months. And we are also proposing to the UK to ensure reciprocal access to each other's waters for next year. One way or the other, in less than three weeks, it will be new beginnings for old friends. Thank you.